A very good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We welcome you to this morning's daily word. Well, uh, daily word with Father. Yeah. Very good morning to your good brothers and good sisters, and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, Father, yeah. one of the most striking scriptures in the gospel. Yeah. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yeah. And its righteousness. Yes. And everything else will be added unto you. Yeah. How far and how true is it? Yeah. Because many people are running behind things, you know. Yeah. But here God is saying something else. Yeah. Please explain this to us. Yeah. Uh, with this regard, this statement is from the Gospel of Saint Matthew, chapter six. This is after the teaching of the Our Father. Yes. Then Jesus speaks about, "Do not worry. Do not be anxious about." Okay. Right. Okay. Look at the. Lilies of the field and birds of the yes, air. And yes, after yes. that, Jesus speaks about seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, Amen. and everything will be offered unto you. Unto you, yes. Okay. Now, if we go back to the Old Testament again, right? The first commandment, the ten commandments. If we go back to the ten commandments, first commandment. So, what does it say? In summary, it is only there is one God, right? There is one God. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Then we have the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth, tenth. commandment. Yeah. Okay, thou shall not covet the things of another person. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But this commandment has to be properly understood in today's context. Yeah. That is, God alone satisfies. Right. Okay. That okay. commandment is actually God alone mm, satisfies. satisfies. Not the thou shall not covet the things of others, but yes. God alone satisfies because. The covetousness, the desire, or the lust for the things. Yes. Okay. Yes. You begin with one, and it leads to another. No. That leads to another. That leads to another. You are never satisfied. But who satisfies us totally? It is God Himself. Correct. And therefore, Jesus in the prayer, He begins with, "Our Father who art in heaven." Correct. Uh, Hallowed be, be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. So seek that God and His kingdom. So that alone satisfies us. Totally. Okay. Yes. And when you look at this one, when Jesus presented it after that prayer only, correct. Right. And Jesus also spoke about. Look at the uh, birds, you know, those are just creatures. Okay, right. we, we say that they have no intelligence or whatever. Okay, correct. Right. But they so believe in God, who is the Creator. Yes. Okay, yes. and therefore they don't worry about tomorrow. They live only for today, and they are so joyful. Early morning, they are there chirping, chirping waking. Yes. Waking us up. We are lazy guys. We don't want to wake up. But they wake us up with their joyfulness. They begin singing and praising God. We begin complaining God. Yeah. Morning we wake up with headache and that thing. Oh, today why the alarm has rung and why yeah. another day we complain. But they wake up and teaching us. Though they are small creatures, they are so joyful. Amen. Praising God and they teach us. That Very is what true. we are called to be: happy and joyful. Yeah. Now seeking the kingdom of God. See, as I said. The desire is the cause of all the problems in the world. Correct. Okay. So desires on this earth are not going to satisfy. Even Buddha, Gautam yeah. Buddha, he is the one discovered that. Yes. Uh, desire is the root cause of all, all problems, problems, all the sickness, death, that everything correct, is caused correct, because correct. of desire. Because yeah. desires are never satisfied. Okay. For that reason, uh, I heard one anecdote. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there was a young king. Hmm. I think this will answer this question of seek ye first the kingdom, the kingdom of, God of God and uh, is right okay. yes, yeah. yeah. Young king, uh, after the death of his father, mm -hmm. the ruling king, correct. He came to the throne, mm -hmm. and because he was the young prince, right. the neighbors, okay. neighboring kings, they thought we are going to fight against this man and we are going to grab this kingdom. Kingdom. So as they were rising against this kingdom, this young king was also good like his father. Right. Okay. Yeah. Though he did not have much experience, but he took all the um, ministers. his ministers and his um, soldiers, everyone into confidence. Confidence. Yeah. And he discussed with them. So this is what is happening. How shall we go about? So they went and fought against the uh, um, opponents. Opponents. Yeah. The rulers. Yeah. And they won the battle. Battle. Yeah. So since it was the first battle that the king won. Correct. And when you defeat a kingdom, all the you bring the booty in that whatever when you defeat all the wealth from the kingdom is brought into your kingdom. kingdom. So this king brought all the uh, this wealth of the other kingdom into his kingdom. Right. And he wanted to celebrate with the people because his people support that he won the uh, war. war. Yeah. 
therefore he wanted to celebrate so he called for a meal okay. made a day of celebration and all the people came and people were having meals at that time <coughs> one of the ministers made the announcement it is some announcement of the king yeah uh, so he rang a bell and said listen as your food gets over we shall be ringing a bell as soon as the bell is rung as you know the king has won this first war is well, yeah. very happy with you because of your support he has won it and he wants to give distribute all the wealth that he has brought from the Other, uh, uh, this an enemy opponent, is, uh, yeah. enemy kingdom good, good. he wants to share it with you yes. so you see the things that are displayed here correct as soon as the bell is rung you just go and touch the thing that is available yeah and that thing will be yours okay the people hurried up their speed of eating okay they finished their food and as they finished the food the bell was rung correct and all the people ran here and there to touch the things so gold What silver want. whatever yes. they wanted okay they went and touched the things and as it was announced you know, whatever they touched was theirs there was a young beautiful lady hmm. who did not go she was just watching looking at these people going and touching these things no one was going and touching the gold one was going and touching the silver one is going and touching something else such she just the minister who saw this lady and said my dear young lady you would surely love gold or some jewelry why don't you go and uh, touch something and make that uh, that as yours Hello. okay king yes. has said because now already people have touched and made the things their own at least go and touch something and obtain something for you the king statement was whatever you touch is going to be yours yours exactly you know what this young lady did she went and touched the right hand of the king amen <laughs> it yes. means a lot she went and touched the right hand of the king yes the right hand of the king stands for ruling correct she is going to be his queen, queen. she will stand as a is so she is going to obtain him as a yeah. her husband correct. okay and you see her uh, thinking why she went and touched the right hand of the king she became the queen right once she became the queen she the queen for the kingdom not for only for the palace palace she has equal right with the king yes and therefore these people whoever have touched and taken the things to their home now queen has the right she can tell the husband tell that lady to bring this thing to me correct they can bring it to her so she did not go to touch something a uh, little thing a perishable thing here and there a little thing yeah which can be lost tomorrow instead she became the queen you for know, the purple. entire kingdom. kingdom the entire thing belonged to her wow wow beautiful if you understand in that way this is exactly we have to hold the hand of god correct okay exactly. we belong to god the god's kingdom the entire universe with all its minerals and all the diamonds yeah, and the pearls thing. and everything with all the planets and all the fish and everything everything, everything that you count in the universe yes. it is created by god himself amen for that one need to understand only one simple thing the basic thing yeah that i am a child of god praise god god is my father therefore i belong to god yes. therefore the entire universe is mine amen because i am a child of god i don't have to go look after you know one thing one thing yes. that is of a slave the servants those are working in your home Correct. they will try to steal something yes okay they want to obtain because they are servants slaves they are not the children correct but the being the child in the home you don't have to go and steal something because everything is of my father is mine mine amen. jesus christ himself has said everything the father has is mine 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 exactly if i if i feel that i am a child of god everything of god is mine and that is what jesus teaches us first you see god and his kingdom that means know that god as your father, father yes. and you are the child of god, god. everything belongs to god belongs to you amen. so why to go after you know petty things, things. Uh, which never satisfy you today you take something there is somebody calling you and these things will never satisfy quarrel fight and that bring lot of disharmony in so, the world yes. you are never satisfied correct correct okay. correct so correct. the what really satisfies us that i belong to god and everything is mine therefore i don't have to steal something that hunger is dead that hunger is gone yes Yeah, sir. Everything is mine. Entire universe is mine. Beautiful. So why should I fight for something and I get into all these kind of quarrels, you no know, disharmony? Everything comes from there. Correct. But if I feel I am a child of God, all of us are brothers and sisters. Everything belongs to us. Why should I fight for something? Everything it is there. Correct. Correct. Why correct, should correct. I can't grab? Exactly. That's it. exactly. In the Bible, yeah. it is there. No. Yeah. The root of all evil is money. Money. Wealth. Yeah. Wealth. Money. Which yeah. I think most of us are mm. fighting against brothers, fighting against each other for properties. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Father, what you mm. said is such a beautiful story, a real beautiful story. Yeah. 
Yeah. You just go and touch the hand of God. That's and it. <clears throat> you, like what he said, yeah. your wealth is unlimited. You have the universe, you have the, you know, everything. everything heaven and earth, everything is Yours. at our disposal. Amen. Because we are God's children, we belong to correct, God. Correct, yeah. correct, correct. Yeah. So, my dear brothers and sisters, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. The moment we die and go up, as of today, Father, God has promised that I will take care of all your needs. Yeah. So you don't have to run around here and there for your needs. Your table for food will be always there. Everything will be everything provided. Everything will yeah. be provided. Your shelter, your clothes, everything is provided. Yeah. But look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is everything else after our death will be ours. Let us write our name in the book of life which Father told us the other day. Let us be there in the presence of God as His children and own everything that he owns. Father, let us even pray. Jesus, yeah, yeah. Huh? Even Jesus said, even Solomon with yes. all his wealth and all those yes. things, he was not sad, he was not clothed as beautiful as the lilies, the flowers which are there today and tomorrow they are God. faded away. But yes. you see that, that the wealth, even the kings are not satisfied with the wealth that not they have. So all. let us not look after, go after the material things. Yes. They never satisfy us. Never, never. What never. really satisfies is the kingdom of God. Amen. God, that righteousness, that seeking the righteousness yes. of the kingdom of yes, God. Yes, yes, Okay. Father, and I think pray. that is beautifully brought out yeah. in the prayer, Our Father. I think we shall together pray that Our Father today. Okay? Yeah, why not? Yes, yeah. Our Father, Father who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come. Thy, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace, the entire universe, the kingdom of God, everything is yours. Amen. Yeah. Amen. See, he's already told you. So, whatever you got, property and all that, don't worry about the property here on earth. We are ready to take all that property on our names. Don't worry. <laughs> We're only joking, yeah. okay? Yeah. You keep your property to yourself. But look at the bigger picture. That's all we are telling you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. God